is uh, yeah, you just take a swing. Um, ground ball, maybe the second baseman throws you out at first, but the runner from the third won't score, and the runner from second goes to third. It says that a, sac attempt, a sacrifice is any a uh, play that advances the runner, so it's not just scoring uh, the run, it's actually any advancement of the runner. And while I was looking up those stats, I came across some other interesting ones. Uh, one was the shortest home run ever hit. Uh, I think it was 1900. Uh, it was a player that hit the ball uh, in a big rainstorm. Ball went, he hit it really hard, but the ball went 24 inches. It, it uh, actually got wedged into a big pack of mud and water, uh, basically right in front of the plate, and nobody in the field saw where it went. Only the hitter did. Uh, so he actually rounded the entire uh, base path for a home run. And uh, and he Ready was the one, now, I guess, that showed them where the ball was. Uh, a bunch of other interesting yesterday. stats in there, but the one thing that really stood out to me, because uh, I had no idea this was a rule, we'll come back to that in a second. Let's see what we got. Here it is. And he throws the fastball by him here. Oh, one. And was that Astros there was a rule change a few years back? In terms of stealing first, so I know what you're thinking. You're thinking what I thought. What? Well, how the hell would you ever steal first? Well, it turns out you can steal first if. They want to be part of the postseason picture. It's time to get going and get going pronto. Yeah, it's taken too long for this team to carve out any identity. So on any, if there's no runners on base, any pitch in flight which is not caught by the catcher, meaning, second, let's see, could be a ball. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Okay, I'll come back to this thought in a second and finish off that thought. Here it comes. That works. This is hit high in the air out toward left so, um, left is so if the you have like a any count, um, if the, the ball inning. is thrown wild by the pitcher One, two, three, and not caught Jays. by the catcher, now the uh, get their first you can run to no you can run to first. So if you have like an 0-1 count, one, no balls, one strike. And the pitcher throws a wild pitch. Uh, uh, you could actually just bolt for first and try and steal first. Stepping if you get there, it's actually called the fielder's choice. So you don't get a stolen base or anything. Uh, you just get on by a fielder's choice. So presumably, in a fielder's choice, it's you're basically it's like you're considered out. No, it's not, that's not how it works. It's it's like a, a runner gets uh, out at second base instead of throwing you out at first base. So it. Um, now, in the fielder's choice in that scenario, it counts as an at bat with no hit. So, what I'm not clear about uh, is whether that, if you steal first, if that counts as like go, no hit go. but an at bat, so it might neg negatively affect your batting average but positively affect your OBP. Actually, I'm not oh, even sure if, 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 uh, if that positively impacts your OBP. Anyway, so there's some question there. I would assume it wouldn't affect your batting average, but even if it did, why not take it if you can get it just to get on base? But, anyways, it's interesting. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and Getting stayed off the corner. On home run. One and zero pitch on the way. Foul. One and one. We're doing one and one had a nice swung, so Here no big deal. Uh, well behind yeah. that fastball, it's a swinging strike. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes, and you can occasionally okay. do damage with them. Sound. He Not wasn't one. able to catch up with that. Even okay, please, 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 please. Give me my pitch right here, right now. Here now the two-two is uh, a swing and a miss. That's strike three. I knew it was going out, but I just couldn't resist. I just could not resist. Sliding into the box. Nice pickup so far last time. He disappointed them. Even though they're the Houston Player fans, they want to see me hit home runs. Why else would you go to the ballpark? You just want to see home runs. There's a breaking ball that yeah. couldn't quite catch the close. inside. Close, close, close. Okay, two out, good count. Now, we're up 7-3, but I don't okay, care. I just go for personal stats and World Series. So I'm going to get a home run here. Oh, I'm come on. A big hack here. Oh, you know, are they going to walk me? They no, no, no. met on first? That's kind of unusual. Well, you know, I'm definitely not swinging unless it's right down the heart of the plate. 
he will there take we go. Walk. ball four. Hmm. First and second now with nobody Surprised to rock me. I mean, glad he's uh, time on time a cold streak, but see the pitching coach you know, he's certainly capable of some home visit. runs. Back Stepping next in, that. number 99. Uh, looks like there's nobody on, so I won't use the. Now the payoff pitch home. Oh, the dead too. Set up a gun. This is the best I've ever done for walks. Like Digging somebody walks this season here. My OBP is going to be uh, really, really good. On a one for two games so far. Here's a look no, over to first and a dive, but he's back in. Okay, try this again. And another nope. throw over. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Don't worry, guy. I'm not going to steal. I'm not fast enough. Yet another check on first. And a okay. dive, but he's mm. back in there. I have to forego the lead or the extra step. And just go for a lean. Looks like a turn on the From the stretch, runners off for second. Pitch outside the throw. Okay, good stuff. It's well behind the play. That's an easy good stolen stuff. base. Well, they threw over there multiple times, thinking he was going to try to swipe that bag. So they were onto him, but he just waited it out and took off when he had the chance. Nice job of base running there. Uh, the only reason now they got. I'm just listening to the announcers. I'm pretty sure you can hear them. Uh, I'm pretty sure the only reason on that, that swing is it's well wide at first. I made mean, that uh, stolen base wasn't so much that. Ready with another two-two, and he's getting his money's worth up so there now. So running a second, only one out, so good chance here These to score a single. Guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Three-two pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Oh crap. Well, there's nothing doing? better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high okay, pass. Okay, Tellez. A high piece of cheese. Oh, there's there's not a long go in a situation that like this. He hit a home run, so. What did he steal that? Line drive to the shortstop. Oh, well. So it's no <clears> runs, <throat> no base hits. Wouldn't no matter if I tried to steal third anyways, but still. Too risky play. It's the Blue Jays Ooh. seven and the Astros three. Fence in baseball today is in uh, Boston, 308 feet to right field, which is surprising. I, I've always thought of the right field that there's actually being long, um, but I guess that's just because the left field. Same. Here's the first pitch to him. He's obviously the green monster, which is uh, short, but obviously not 308 feet short, I guess. And then it's got the gigantically tall wall, which I always thought was. Nice thing up there. Right I thought the reason field, that the wall was short was because the left field was incredibly short. But it's not, because it's actually longer than the right field, which is 208 feet. So that means it's uh, at least 209 feet to the left. Um, but I mean, the reason, uh, the other reason, which is the main reason that the blue monster is so tall, which I knew is because there's a street that runs right along the left field line. And so the, the height of the wall is to protect uh, cars uh, from balls that are, would be otherwise just flying right into the street easily from uh, even moderately hit home runs. Uh, and then obviously Boston's got the, well, just the most unique baseball footprint in baseball. Cause, so, so you get the shortest right field, uh, probably the shortest left field in baseball. Um, and then the center field is gigantic. I think it's like 420 or 425 the center. And then the center field has got this kind of an angular a cut where year. part of the fence so runs um, the 90 Wilson degree angle back Zach in uh, at least 10, 10 to 15 MLB feet uh, so there's lots Twitter of weird little hits that can happen out there in that center field like I've seen more triples at the center field that uh, Boston than most any other center field because there's just so many weird things that can happen out there which of course makes it the coolest uh, stadium than the fact that it's old and historic But yeah, the left fielders have a bigger advantage to hit home runs. That's why Poppy, I always thought Poppy was so powerful because he was hitting so many home runs from the left side of the plate, but it turns out uh, it's actually easier to hit home runs uh, as a lefty in Boston than as a righty, so 
Interesting, especially if you're an extreme pull hitter. You go right down the right down the line there. That's the uh, easiest place to hit home run. Even easier than the uh, the new fastball. New York's pretty famous for having a short right field, so they load up on left field, uh, left power, sorry, left-handed power hitters as well. So if you Ooh, Big swing nasty. The oh, 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 and you're pretty sure you're going to be playing against the Yankees. You want to make sure. Is a wave and a miss. Oh, he damn. struck him out. Is uh, maybe I should you get some good left-handed uh, starting pitching and uh, uh, some lefties and in your the bullpen Astros to take advantage to for the first time. Uh, no of their setup and potentially for it. You know. Well, that's sucks. Yeah, it's only five. I'm saying it's not too bad. We can come back from this yet. Oh, they don't run here. here. Lots of baseball left in this one. Oh. We're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. Oh, right and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the game. Wait too low though. To start driving in <laughs> some runs. Ryan Somebody got hurt. Pitcher. Pitcher got hit. So we're already into the relief pitchers here. Interesting. Interesting. Late on that one, but still good contact, and he's stopping me. Yeah. All right. Well, that's still better than a strikeout. Can't believe I got three pitches in my spot in a row. Coming to the plate now, four, no? He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down nope. by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the 8th and ninth inning. Nope. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm watching for that bullcrap. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Don't Might just be swing. able to rush Think. a fastball by him. And he misses there. Here. One and two. Pay attention now. So. Guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Here's the one and two delivery. Fastball ah, strike crap. three. That was and there's the first out of the inning. Low pitches. Clear. That, like uh, that looked high. Right. But uh, clearly a strike. Now Good pitch. Good pitch sequence. Over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. It doesn't pretty much just the way they do it in the majors so too. They throw a lot of uh, low pitches, and then when they get to the oh, low attendance tonight, and then when they get to that strikeout count, they uh, all of a sudden throw high. Uh, they've got your eye level off, um, and you're not ready for it, and that's exactly what happened to me. And it worked, and that was disgusting. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already. Maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball oh, a little damn. bit deeper, and be willing to work <laughs> deep into the count. <laughs> it's like a, uh, it's like there was a slider going out again, but I don't know. I don't know how far that I want. Oh, off of it. There's even a contact swing, so I can just try and grind it off. After, uh, after a home run giving up a very well, similar hit to the same spot. Drama and excitement. In the mm. end... These guys came away with the victory. Oh, for four, disgusting. I was just that never happened. The final score in tonight. This is game three. I'm pretty sure we split the first two, so <clears throat> hopefully we can win the rubber match here. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Today it's the finale of this four. Only six games under 500 now, so I'm still climbing out of that hole. Zach Grinky is on the mound for Houston in this one. Grinke, yeah, What's your take on him, Dan? Well, Matt, you hate right, to go so into game thinking that you're going to have to get the third, two out. You may and have to get with this guy on the mound. He's not known for going 
very deep in the games. Very rarely does he go Damn. six innings or more. So this very well could be one of those Johnny Holstaff days. Yeah, Fellas, taking a look at these Astros entering play here this afternoon. They come okay. in on the heels of a victory last time out, but they've been in a bad stretch recently, losing five of their last eight oh, ballgames. Yeah, man, nothing they'd like people. to do more than to salvage this one, D-Roll. After this, Three. got him looking, oh. and that'll do it. The inning is over. You throw two pitches out of the zone, you expect Blue that, that they're check. never going to throw you another pitch in the zone, not at bat. Why would... Okay, try not to suck this time. Come on. He's 0 for Number 1 Rocky thus Bob. far. Yanked on the ground down the line. So and that's a that fair ball. I don't know. So I'm not going to make it. It's so weird. I feel that they're going to have foul balls on. That says the fence runs out so fast that it just angles. And he probably hits out, bounces out that, goes straight back out to the outfielder. Yeah, perfect. Let's see if we can get this bag. First things first, here's a throw over. And he'll dive back in safely. Let's see if they do it again. If I do it one more time. I'll just do a, a lean with the lead. Rowdy Tellez, the next to bat. So the pitcher's move is a goal, and I'm in good. Not gonna get him as he swipes second. That's pretty. I check out my speed numbers after this. My speed number. I've got a lot of stolen bases now. My speed numbers, you would hope, uh, have jumped significantly. I would assume that stealing bases would have a. Each one of those stolen bases would have a pretty significant impact to your speed. I'm sure we're speed reading as low second, as mine is. And he'll dive back in. One run, two hits, and no errors in the yeah, game for Toronto. Here. I don't care. <laughs> and it's one and one. Is this, is this Vladdy at bat? Or is Telez? He's been hitting well lately. Count is one and Double. two now. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Really hoping he can get a single. Oop. A bit too long. Now a look and a throw back to second. Damn, that was close. Um, really hoping here that uh, Telez gets at least a single or potentially even a home run. Line oh. drive to left. Uh, that's going to cut. Pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. All right, so that was the messed up. Oh, the shit's back. All right. All right, this is my favorite Blue Jay right now. He's just the most exciting player on the team in every way around. He's ready. Here's the in real life, offering. it is. Uh, Vadi was supposed to be like the second coming, hits. but has not really panned out. Hey, he's been okay, but not nothing spectacular. Um, Fouled off. You know, in the minors, he was like that guy that was sitting Lucky like 350 ish right with tons of home runs and RBIs and pitch. coming up to the big. big so far, he's been about a. 250-ish hitter with a you know okay home run numbers and you know nothing to nothing to write home but RBI numbers but Bichette has been uh, just an absolute Another spark plug the, the the very heartbeat of the team uh, with all the exciting plays fantastic shortstop just completely overshadowing Vladdy and then you've also got in the mix uh, Kevin Biggio our second baseman who's doesn't have, doesn't support the best batting average, but is a great like uh hits a it's a, it seems like he right. seems like he's wow. constantly hitting doubles and home runs and he's usually hitting them right when the team needs them. So it seems to me that he's a, a big clutch hitter and comes through with doubles and home runs in, in a lot of clutch situations. So I've really really enjoyed watching him play as well. And then obviously the the funny thing is that all three of them have one thing well at least one thing in common. But they've all got major so league fathers play, that are fantastic players. I mean, Vlad is gonna is I don't know if he's in the Hall of Fame yet, but Vlad Vlad Guerrero has got to be a Hall of Famer. Uh, Kevin Biggio is the son of uh, Craig Biggio, who might not be a Hall of Fame player, but was a really great Houston Astro forever. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you.